welcome to my kitchen. Hola mi gente, bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today we're gonna to be making pastelito de mango, which are mango pastries and they're really yummy. So if you wanna see this recipe, stick around to the end of the video. And if you wanna see more recipes like this, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any recipes. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is wash your mangoes and then you're gonna cut them into cubes. Next, you're going to blend them in a food processor or a blender. Next, I'm going to add some sugar to the puree. Now, I'm adding three tablespoons, but if you prefer to add more sugar, you can. And if you want to add less sugar, you can. Uh, just test it as you go so you'll see how sweet it is. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. And this is just to thicken up the um, mango puree so it won't be so watery. Next, I'm adding a pinch of salt, and that's just to enhance the sweetness. Once the mango puree starts to thicken up, then you can remove it from the heat and pour it into a bowl so that it can cool off. Next, we're going to get our puff pastries from the refrigerator. And you want to make sure that you have them refrigerated because um, if they get too warm, it's really difficult to handle them and um, you're going to have a lot of problems. So make sure that the pastries are refrigerated before you start to use them. Next, you're going to crack open the one egg and you're going to beat it. And you're going to use that for an egg wash over the pastries. And that's going to give your pastries that bakery look. Next, you want to get your cream cheese and your mango puree ready so that you can start adding them to the pastry. And now I'm just using my um, rolling pen just to smooth out the pre-cut lines. I'm adding about one tablespoon of cream cheese and a tablespoon of mango puree. Next, I'm adding some of the egg to the edges uh, so that when I add the other pastry sheet on top, they won't open up when they're baking. After that, you're gonna take your other puff pastry sheet and put it right over top of the other puff pastry sheet. And you can cut it um, as big or as small as you want. This is gonna give me nine puff pastries. Um, if you wanna make them smaller, you can, and it will double the amount. Now 
Next, I'm going to add a few um, slits or vent holes in top of the uh, puff pastry sheets to help the steam release. Next, we're going to add egg wash to the top of the pastry sheets, and that's going to give your, um, your puff pastries a nice golden color at the top, like they do in a bakery. Next, you're going to use a fork to close the edges securely. You're going to bake these at 400 degrees um, in a preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes, and you're going to rotate the tray halfway through so they, they can bake evenly. So it's been 20 minutes and our pastries are ready. So look how delicious they are. So I'm gonna take them out of the oven and you can um, leave them like this or you can make a um, simple syrup and put over top of it. Although they look delicious just like this, they wouldn't be Cuban pastelitos if I didn't go over to the stove and make a glaze. So I'm gonna go over and make a simple syrup. I'm adding a half a cup of sugar to a half a cup of water. I'm gonna let this cook until it gets to a thick syrup and then I'm gonna brush the pastelitos with this delicious glaze. And you'll see how pretty it's gonna look afterwards. Okay, our simple syrup is ready and we're gonna go over and pour this into a bowl. Now we're gonna brush the glaze over top of the pastelitos. And just that little bit of shine on the pastelitos really make them look like bakery style pastelitos. If you wanna impress your friends, don't skip out on this step. And here they are, my delicious pastelito de mango. They look absolutely delicious. So my pastelitos have cooled off, so I'm gonna take a bite just so you can see what they look like inside. These are nice and flaky and delicious inside. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Follow me in my Facebook group called Cooking the Cuban Way. You can also stop by my YouTube store. You may find some things there that you might want to purchase. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.